Importing data into Origin is very easy, with drag and drop support available for many standard formats. For example, here we have an Excel file we'd like to import. After the data is imported, you can right click the headers and set them as comments, long name, or units. In addition to drag and drop, you can also use the import dialog to import data with more options. Let's prompt this dialog by clicking the Import Excel button. After selecting our file, we can then tell Origin which sheets to import. In this case, there's only one. In the Column Headers tab, you can also specify how many rows of data cover the main header and subheader, and set them as the long name and units. And we can also turn on sparklines to easily view trends in our data. Now that our data is imported, let's make some modifications. First, we'll add a new column for corrected data, which we'll calculate by subtracting the blank data from our sample data. You can use the f of x row to enter any formula with origin scripting language, lab talk. Now you no longer have to type out the word column before the column name. Instead, Origin 2017's spreadsheet cell notation allows you to enter the letter of each column, using them in a similar manner to algebraic variables. Once a formula has been entered, a green lock icon will appear in the header to indicate the values of this column are the output of an operation. You can also turn on the spark lines of the newly added data by using the option in the right-click menu. Now let's plot a double Y plot of the sample data and corrected data. If we want to include our graph with our data, we can add it as a floating graph in the same worksheet. Now let's say that our Excel file has changed. Here we've pasted some new data in the sample column and saved it. In Origin, we can easily update our workbook and corresponding data by going to File, Reimport Directly. You can see the corrected column updates automatically, and our graph instantly reflects this. The axis scales, however, will not update because the axis rescale mode is set as normal by default. You can open and customize a floating graph simply by double clicking on it. Now that our graph is open, let's double click on an axis to open the axis dialog. Let's set both the X and Y axis rescale modes to auto. Once we've done this, we'll hit rescale to see the effect this has and repeat these steps for the axis on our second layer. We'll click Return to go back to the worksheet. Now that everything is set up in one workbook, if you want to import more such data and reproduce the same calculation and graph, just click the Import Excel button a second time. Select some more data files, and in the Import dialog, set both the First File Import mode and Multi File Import mode to start new book. Because this data is organized the same way as our previously imported data, we'll set our template to Clone. With this setting, Origin will clone the active workbook and then import our new data into it. Therefore, new data will be handled the same way as the previous data set, with column calculations and the double Y graph updating accordingly.